I'm going to show you how you can lay a concrete pad. Now these can be used for driveways or paths, but the one we're laying today is for a shed. First you have to decide where your shed's going to sit. You need to allow enough distance from hedges or fences. Now the shed I'm going to build is 1.8 by 1.5. This timber will be the boxing for our concrete pad. I've already pre-cut my timber to length. I'm using 100 by 25 rough sawn untreated timber. I've now got to nail the boxing together. I'm using 75 mil nails. Just leave your nails sticking out a little way. When we take the boxing off, it's going to make it nice and easy. Now I'm just going to make sure that our boxing is nice and square. To do this, I'm just going to measure the diagonals and ensure both ways are exactly the same dimension. We've got 2472. Spot on. Next thing you want to do is dazzle around the outside edge of your boxing. Our concrete pad requires 75 millimetres of compacted base course underneath 75 millimetres of concrete. There are different depths of pads for different jobs. Check Mitre 10's online guide for the correct pad for your project. Now the pad can be level with the ground or raised above it. We want our concrete pad level with the ground. So this means we need to remove 150 millimetres of soil to allow for the compacted base course and concrete. The boxing is pegged in place. Make sure the boxing is level so the shed sits flat. Then fix the pegs to the boxing. And then just rake and remove any loose dirt. Because our concrete pad is for a shed, we've decided to put in a rebate. This is for the walls of the shed to slot onto. Right, now we can put in our base course. And this is your chance to hire a compactor. They're really easy to use. Next we add a layer of sand and then we're going to give it a rake. The sand will fill in the holes in the base course, making a nice smooth surface. Now it's time for the polythene. Make sure you tuck it in neatly. A pad this size doesn't really need mesh, but I'm going to add it anyway, just to show you how it's done. We're using little concrete blocks to hold the mesh off the polythene so it sits in the middle of the concrete slab. Time for the main event. Mix your concrete in a mixer according to the instructions and then pour it into the boxing. I've tapped the boxing to settle the concrete and get the air bubbles out. For the first stage of the finishing process, I'm using this 4 by one to screed it off. Next, we're going to use the magnesium trowel. This stops drawing the water up and out of the concrete. And finally, a steel trowel to give us a nice smooth finish. Wait between one to two hours and then repeat this final step for an even smoother finish. Now we just need to wait for the concrete to cure. Keep an eye on it, concrete that dries too fast can crack or shrink. So you may want to give it a light spray with the hose in sunny conditions. For something this size, you'll need to leave it for around 48 hours. Right, now it's time to take our boxing off. First thing you want to do, just give the boxing a light tap. This will make it easier to remove. Take our screws out of the pegs. Now we'll just pull our nails out of the boxing that we left sticking out. And just very gently lift that up. And there's our finished pad with rebate, ready for our shed to fit onto. Easy as. For all the help and advice you need to get the job done, just head down to Mitre 10.